Hey guys, I just thought I'd do a quick tutorial to show you how to automate volume in uh, Logic Pro X. Basically, uh, what I've got going on here is I've got um, uh, a mashup song uh, of um, three Ed Sheeran songs. Anyway, you can look at my channel. It's the one that I did on the Lion King. Basically, um, I've just put this cello in down the bottom here. It comes in um, in the turn or in the in-between uh, the two songs. And basically what I need to happen is or have happened is I need the cello nice and loud for this break and I want it to continue through uh, into the other song so I need to basically have the volume high and then low uh, and the way you can automate volume in Logic Pro X is just to um, show hide automation here okay so that's what I'm going to click obviously I've automated a lot of the other stuff or the volumes of the other stuff but I haven't done the cello yet so I'm just going to zoom in on that just so I can see what we're doing um, and uh, basically uh, I'll play it for you so you can sort of get a, a, s a sense of what I want to happen Basically, when the vocal comes back in there, and the vocal's a bit loud, but when the vocal comes back in, I want this cello to cut out. So that's what I'm going to have happen. So it's about there that I want the cello to start um, decreasing again. Uh, so the way that you do it to put automation is you just click on the line, okay, and you click on another spot where you want it to uh, start decreasing, and you pull it down, and that's how you do automation. It's as simple as that. So when now you listen to it, um, actually, what I'll do is I'll mute the vocal. So I'll just mute that, so you can just hear it. Right, so you can see that the automation basically um, decreased the volume. Uh, so it was a little bit low. Uh, one of the other things you can do is you can come in here and you can go the automation curve tool, which is quite helpful. Um, and um, uh, what you can do is actually uh, set that to a curve um, so that it decreases uh, less linearly. And you can just go to and do that for um, all of your automations if you want to, right? So that you just have a so it's not just a linear cutoff on volume, which uh, is a bit nicer on the ear. Anyway, that's how you do um, volume automation in Logic Pro X. I hope that helps. Okay, thanks, bye.